If you look at the World Health Organization uh, diagnostic criterion for myeloproliferative neoplasms, among the major criterion is uh, the necessity of abnormal uh, appearing megakaryocytes, so the morphology of the megakaryocytes in the marrow, as well as uh, abnormal numbers of megakaryocytes generally increased in number. And uh, you know what uh, this talk I gave was really trying to bring together some, uh, I would say, basic and trans translational research to uh, highlight the central role that megakaryocytes have in uh, controlling hematopoietic stem cell and malignant hematopoietic stem cell ability to self-renew, uh, their contribution to marrow fibrosis in myelofibrosis, uh, and other fibro, uh, fibrotic uh, disorders of the bone marrow, and their role in uh, uh, controlling um, the uh, microvessel density, so the, the small blood vessels feeding the marrow, which are so important for stem cell biology, can also be controlled by uh, secreted factors and, and uh, presented factors by megakaryocytes. So that talk was really just intended to be provocative uh, and to maybe reorient us around this well-recognized cellular contributor to the diagnostic uh, 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 components of myeloproliferative neoplasms and really point to the more scientific uh, basis for why they are a central uh, cell type in these diseases.